It's safe to say over the last couple of years, we have seen a dramatic rise in podcasts that, that seem to be giving a lot of dating advice. Now, as much as I appreciate that now a lot of people are taking their uh, their dating lives more seriously, there does seem to be this uprising of getting adult entertainment porn stars on these podcasts and giving dating advice. And what's worse is that they're getting women who are like barely old enough to even know what a proper dating life is and so I, I can't even believe I'm having to put this video out there as just as like the official statement of my thoughts on what seems to be happening but men need to stop taking dating advice from 18 year old only fan models I find it absolutely ridiculous that there are men that are literally taking word for word as gospel some of the stuff that they're saying. Now, I, I see it a lot. I mean, besides me looking at the comments in my own videos, which you know hasn't really got anything to do with this particular topic, but I do certainly... Uh, like to do my research and I just look at the comments underneath like my clients videos underneath these podcast videos and I, it just literally blows my mind the stupidity from so many men that they are just like like oh yeah you know this like all women are bad like oh, all women think like this or like like oh she's a queen and I, I must give her all of my money even though she doesn't deserve a penny of your hard-earned money that you have worked your life for so again i can't believe i'm gonna have to do this but i'm gonna just cover a couple of points hopefully this won't take long just to make it clear for for guys um so first of all these 18 year olds they don't have any life experience they are so young and what i find even darker is the fact that prior to them turning 18 maybe they were like 15 16 17 god only hopes definitely not younger but the fact that at these ages that they were considering knowing because maybe they've got uh, some good level of uh, beauty to them that they think yeah you know what i'm gonna exploit my body i'm gonna exploit my beauty and i am going to sell my services of myself i mean i think it's just absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so these women they've just got no life experience and they are just not worth uh taking their um their criticisms on board especially when you're like watching some of these podcasts that seem to be talking about very extreme masculinity and then very extreme femininity um it, it, yeah it's i mean i won't go into that in this particular video but it just seems to be one polarization to the other one rather than maybe talking about what's the middle ground between the two they're very sociopathic that's the word i'm thinking about they are just very very sociopathic they just don't feel anything um and uh, and at that kind of age with an 18 year old when they know that they are good looking and that men are gawking over them and just throwing money at them without them having to do anything that's going to make them incredibly entitled and you have to remember that that they will do excuse me and they will say anything they can to make sure that they are going to be getting money from you and even with what you see behavior wise with some of them on these podcasts um i mean they just don't care they are so out of touch with reality that yeah you really can't take what they're saying for uh for truth um and a lot of also what they say is that they know how to market themselves and actually what they do uh they they are aware of is how they can market themselves to get more um more sales you you have to remember that a lot of these like 18 year old girls when they're all going on these podcasts you know they're doing it for very selfish reasons and that is actually absolutely fine because at the end of the day it's um self-promotion of uh, one's business and if it gets them you know a thousand more men paying you know ten dollars a month or whatever i mean then that's another 10k a month going into their bank account so you know for them they will do and say whatever they can knowing that if they're charging a really really small fee for guys then they're going to just have guys you know throw their money at them and you also need to be aware of a bit of a truth behind how um, the OnlyFans platform works. And this is where um, 
So I've got a friend who's actually, uh, he's in a relationship with a woman who runs a company where she has a load of women talk to men on behalf of the OnlyFan models. And there is a very lucrative business in making men think that they are actually talking to the only fan models and um and exploiting them for paying even more money for even more uh bespoke services of sorts you know requesting like um extra photos or holding a sign with their name on or something like that or having a video where they're saying their name you know all of these sort of things uh i mean yeah you're not really talking to the women especially with the ones who have like thousands upon thousands of followers you are talking to literally a team of people so uh that if you are someone who is um invested on only fans just bear that in mind that you're not actually talking to the girl but someone is playing the uh, the messenger between you and the girl as well as they're doing it to absolutely everyone else uh, as well um the point being is you know that they are doing um they are doing and saying a lot of this stuff just for the clicks. They are trying to provoke men as well as, in a way, I kind of believe, and maybe this is a bit more of a conspiracy theory thing here, but I kind of believe that also what they're saying, they are purposely trying to say things that are putting men down and are making men feel like that they should give up trying to go on dates and and um, and meet women normally in real life because then it means that the only way that men are going to be able to see a woman naked is by spending money on them on OnlyFans. So you have to, in a way, you kind of have to give these women a bit of credit. They might be young, but they're certainly not stupid. They know how to exploit themselves and, you know, maximize their uh, their return of investments at the same time. But um, but yeah, but then the likely, uh, uh, the likely scenario is that the lonelier uh, a guy is, then the more likely he's going to subscribe to them uh, on their channel and forever somewhat be trapped um, in that scenario. But what I can tell you though, especially when I'm seeing a lot of, uh, I think it would be very, I think it would be red pill um, comments underneath these videos where they generally believe that these women somehow represent every woman that's out there in the world. I can assure you that is not the case. You are literally seeing the most extreme vile women on these platforms. And I have I must admit, I think I've seen very few women and too few women at that who are genuinely representing what most women are like who are good they want relationships they want to settle down have families and stuff um and yeah you'll have people who want to just have fun as well but for everything that i have seen in the dating industry most people again they they want relationships they want someone to connect with and have those special moments with yes everyone wants to have sex it'd be stupid to even deny that sort of thing but to, <laughs> to take advice from 18 year olds where they'll say like you know um uh, that men should just give up with dating men should just give all their money to women and stuff. I mean, these women, they might as well just be dating a bank account rather than um, actually dating a guy. So just bear that in mind. Right, but as it seems to be incredibly cloudy out and now the video is going to look super dark, I will end that there. But for men who are watching this, please don't take these women seriously who are in these podcasts and they are also not the best definitely not the best representation of what a lot of women are actually like and it breaks my heart when i am seeing uh i can only assume younger men who have unfortunately fallen for this belief that all women are nasty all women only want them for their money they're going to use them and, and this and that and it's just it's just ridiculous it really is so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. So do leave a comment below. Uh, if you can like and subscribe to the channel, uh, stay up to date on all more unique and interesting videos that I will certainly put out and uh, look forward to uh, my next video coming soon.